Hello everyone, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today I want to talk about another unit for measuring angles called degrees, minutes, seconds. And um, it was primarily used in America, but nowadays we're slowly shifting everything to the metric system. So it is not used as often anymore, but there are still a lot of documents where they measure angles in this system, so we have to learn it. Um, especially for hiking, boating, orienteering, that sort of thing. So if we just draw an angle, okay. Now, for the sake of explaining what degree minute seconds are, I'm going to label this angle as one degree. I know it looks a lot bigger than one degree, but let's just say this is one degree. Now, if I um, divide this angle up into 60 smaller angles. Okay, so I keep cutting up this angle. I cut this angle up into 60 smaller angles. It's going to take me a while to draw 60 of them. But let's say we take one of these smaller angles. Okay, one of these smaller angles inside it. These really small angles. That angle is one minute which is one sixtieth of a degree okay so what that means is one degree is basically right one degree is sixty minutes okay similar to how we measure time where one hour is sixty minutes now we're saying one degree is 60 minutes. Actually, this is how it used to be all the time, but we're sort of just uh, reintroducing it to you guys. So the symbol for that is basically one degree equals 60 minutes, right? It's sort of like a little dash. Now, if I zoom in on one minute, okay, so let's say this is one minute. Let's just say for the sake of argument, this is one minute. Okay, not one degree, one minute. And then I divide this up into even smaller angles. Okay, even smaller angles. 60 of them. Then what happens is this little angle inside, right, this little angle inside is one second. So what that means is one minute is 60 seconds. Now the symbol for seconds is two um, dashes. Okay, so that is basically the conversion. Now you're probably thinking, well, that's a bit hard to do. Because let's say if I want to know 30.5 degrees. Right, that's the decimal. Now, how do I convert it to DMS? Degrees, minutes, seconds. Degrees, minutes, seconds. That's how we express the system. So, well, if you do it in your head, okay, let's do it in your head first. Um, 0 0.5, uh, 1 degree is 60 minutes. Right, if you do it in your head, one degree is 60 minutes. So that just means that half a degree, 0 0.5, which is attached to the end, 0 0.5 degrees must be 30 minutes, right? Because that's half of 60. So you can say 30 degrees, um, 30 minutes, right? If you want to do it in your head. Now, um, if you want a better way of doing it, so using using let's say a formula, then it'll just be um, 0 0.5. Oops, why did I write 0 0.6? 0 0.5, which is the amount after the decimal point, times 60 because there are 60 minutes in one degree is 30 okay so that number gives you the number of minutes 
Okay, so let's try it again. Let's try converting 40.2 degrees to minutes and seconds. So you go 0 0.2 times 60 and the answer is 0 0.2 times 60. A lot of you probably can do it in your head. It's 12. Alright, so it'll be 40 degrees, 12 m minutes. Okay, um, so now let's do the number. Uh, let's now find a quick way of doing it. So let's say I want to do 72.24 degrees and I want to convert it. I want to convert it to degrees, minutes, and seconds. All right? So that's the decimal. Um, and I want to convert it to DMS. So I want to show you a quicker way of doing it. So grab your calculator. And you just have to type in 72.24. All right? And press equals. And now what you're going to do is firstly convert that to a decimal because it's in fractions. So press this button here to convert between decimal and fraction. And now we want to convert it to degrees, minutes, seconds using this button right here. Degrees, minutes, seconds. Now some calculators might require you to press shift first and then press this but this is a newer version of the calculator. So if you just press that button, it converts it to 72 degrees, 14 minutes, 24 seconds. So that is the way that I um, advocate that you guys do it, is just using a calculator. But you do need to understand the theory behind it. Now, if I want to go backwards, so if I want to know... Um, 30 degrees for 40 minutes what is that in decimal now um, if you don't have a calculator then you know that it's going to be 30 30 point 30 point something degrees so what you do is you can see that there's 40 minutes here so 40 minutes out of 60 minutes right if you type that in the calculator it'll give you um, <clears throat> 0 0.6 recurring so you can just put 30.6 recurring degrees now if you want to do it on your calculator then you can just type in 30 degrees 40 minutes press equals and then just press the degrees minutes seconds key to convert so it tells you the answer 30.66 30.6 recurring okay i hope this has helped you guys uh understand degrees minutes and seconds let's just do a quick trigonometry problem that involves this. So let's say I give you a right angle triangle and instead of giving you the angle in straight decimals, I'll give it to you in degrees, minutes, seconds. So 20 degrees, 14 minutes. And let's say I want this side to be 10 meters and I want to know how long the hypotenuse side is. So then we have sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. If you have no idea what all this is, just don't worry because you probably haven't learned it yet. And then I put in sine 20 degrees 14 minutes equals x over, uh, sorry, 10 over x. So I should have labeled the sides first. That's the opposite. That's the hypotenuse. So now rearranging it, I get x equals 10 over sine 20 degrees 14 minutes 
and now I can just type that into the calculator so 10 divided by bracket um, sine bracket 20 degrees 14 minutes bracket bracket equals 28.9 uh, meters okay I hope that's the right answer thanks for watching the tutorial guys see you next time